Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the uh, rigid body physics within Blender Render. And that's not the same as the physics within the game engine. That's bullet physics within the game engine. And they're different libraries altogether. So, but the Blender Render physics is pretty powerful and it's, it's growing and it's fun just as well. I just don't use it as much for the moment because I don't have keyboard access to it to make it interactive. But there's been talk of that in the forums the last six months about there might become an interactive mode someday in the future and then I'll probably take advantage of a lot more because it is pretty cool but I wanted to show you some of the things in here so in here I have this green line around this object like that and that's because over here I had set under rigid body tools it shows up like that I had pressed nope I had pressed add passive and then for this cube I had pressed add active like that and then when I run all day you can see it falls under the, it falls under the effects of gravity. Now notice this slow bounce that's going on at the end. Let me just zoom in on that a little bit here. Now that's typically not what you're going to see in here. And that's because, notice here I have some keyframes set like this. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I come back over here where I was setting it, like in the previous lesson where I was changing from to metrics and radians, well typically I work in here because you notice if I switch to none, this argument down here for the z is negative 9.810 but I really want to know it is negative 9.81 meters per second squared basically the acceleration of gravity like this and that's a cool feature to have access to because if you want it slower say you know at the outset I could start negative one and it would fall much slower but for the moment I'll show you that here in a second but for now I have it at negative 9.81 and I'm going to step through to these keyframes and then up here at key for at frame 30 I actually change the acceleration of gravity to negative one meter per second squared and so that's what allows it to have this bounce effect so what's happening is it's falling under the weight of gravity normal gravity Earth's gravity essentially but when it gets to the bottom it really has this slow motion effect because now the actual gravity is based on negative one meter per second squared like this so that's a great way to give yourself a slow motion effect in the scene by keyframing your gravity all right, so that's one thing that you can do, and you can see that if I was to just go back to the beginning keyframe, let's see here, and if I just change this to negative one meter per second squared, and I go up to the next keyframe, and I'll just leave that at negative one meter per second squared, like that, and then I run it from here. Oh, what happened? Did I not? Oops. Maybe I didn't reset the keyframe. Hang on. Nope, forgot to press I again. Negative one, and then I press I, and then I have to come up to the next one, and negative one, press I when you're in there. Okay, now when I run it, should be slow motion the whole way. Yeah, there it is, slow motion the whole way, like that. Right, but it doesn't have as much force bouncing because it wasn't falling with as much speed as the, at, as the original one. Okay, So there's a lot of cool things you can do by setting the keyframes. You don't have to limit it to just the Z direction. You can accelerate things in the X and Y direction as well, which is really cool. In fact, you can see that if this is that's Y in that direction like that, I'll just give it an acceleration of 5 meters per second in the Y direction. That means that as this thing's falling, it's also going to be accelerating in that Y direction as well. Well, I swear I set it at five meters per second in the Y direction. Let's just mm -hmm. did the same problem. I did the same thing. Forgot to set the keyframe. All right, Y five meters per second. I'm going to press I. So for now. Well, in the beginning when it starts, it should start, and there it goes, it's accelerating in the Y direction, and but in here it's negative one meter per second squared. Okay, so those are just a lot of cool things. I play with those things all the time, and they're a lot of fun, and I um, hope that gives you a little more insight into how to take advantage of this, because you, that's a nice bouncy effect by slowing it down, and I've showed in another video on bullet physics how you can affect that with by changing, if you go into the physics tab, you can change 
the bounciness on the object and on the surface and that affects it as well so there's different ways to do it this happens to be a particularly nice way to do it okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson